In this video, we're going to continue our, uh, our search for a leak in this system uh, that maybe has a pretty large leak, a dangerous leak. What we have done so far is we have checked all the piping up to the gas cocks for each individual appliance. Now we're going to check each appliance in turn. Uh, and this one will probably use an electronic leak detector. Uh, they're a really great product to use if you get a good one. Because they will check very small leaks and I don't get soap bubbles all over everything. So what we're going to be checking is from the gas cock, to include the gas cock, I would check it too, through the entire appliance with the appliance off and then we're going to turn the appliance on and check again. So we should be able to find any leaks in the system uh, after we've done all this. So let's take a look at the electronic leak detector. Okay, here's a back rack electronic leak detector. Uh, most of them work about the same. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on figuring out how the silly thing works, but uh, obviously you've got a probe right there. And I like to use an electronic because the electronics are very sensitive. I don't have to get soap bubbles all over everything. I can check things I can't check with soap bubbles. And it just does a better overall job. Let me give you an idea of what I would do. Okay, here's an appliance. I hooked the gas piping back up. Uh, by the way, this is a test mule. I would never pipe in the way this thing is piped for a permanent install. That's really kind of ugly, uh, but it's just a test mule. So, with the gas caulk on, I'm going to start leak checking. Now, I'm going to go around each one of these fittings, I mean, this is fairly simple stuff. Uh, you will probably notice right off if there is a fairly large leak here because you'll smell it. But I would check each one of these fittings, uh, everything from the gas cock to include the gas cock, on down to the inlet of the gas valve. Now, the, the furnace is off right now. And of course, obviously, this thing's going to scream bloody murder if it finds anything. Uh, give it a little time uh, as you're looking around for these leaks. One thing you need to remember is when uh, you're checking for gas leaks and you're coming because of the smell, it doesn't take much smell to really permeate everywhere. Okay, so I don't find anything here. The next thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to fire this furnace off. Now at this point I don't think I'm going to fire this thing, but uh, at that point I can go ahead and I can check the entire gas valve, I can check here, everywhere up to the burners. Okay, if I find any leaks, of course I'm going to have to fix them. I mean, this isn't a fix it video, it's a determine where the leak is video. Uh, obviously, if you've got a fitting somewhere that is leaking, you're going to have to take apart the pipe, redope all the fittings, and put it back together and leak test it. So that's pretty much that leak testing after there's been a large leak. And we're going to go next into leak checking when someone has called you with a, uh, a problem, they say they smell gas. And that'll be the next video.